question to the member from Essex. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, today we're joined by some of the 5,000 dedicated correction and probation and parole professionals that are here today in the gallery. And I want to thank them for the work that they do, keeping our community safe. Speaker, they're here to keep the Liberal government to its word. Last year, the Liberal government spent $50 million to prevent a strike in our province's jails that never happened. You essentially created a crisis on top of an ongoing crisis. $50 million later, Speaker, and this Liberal government made a promise to recognize that frontline correctional staff are essential and valued members of our public service. Yet, despite these promises to hire new staff, the daily staffing complement has not increased at all. Speaker, what will the Premier tell correctional services professionals today at the th in the thousands that they represent about Question. what they should expect about how they're valued and essential to solving the crisis in corrections. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I thank the member for the question because it again gives me an opportunity to thank uh, our wonderful correctional staff who are here and across Ontario for all their hard work and dedication. Uh, we had a very productive meeting this morning, and I look forward actually to continuing these important discussions. As I said, Mr. Speaker, I visited eight jails, eight of our institutions in the past 10 months as minister, and I've seen firsthand the high caliber of the individuals who actually works in our correctional facilities. And, and I also attended, Mr. Speaker, I had the great privilege of attending the latest graduation of our correctional officers in Hamilton, 211 new recruits wow. uh, coming great. to our, our uh, workforce every day in our institutions. And oh man, are they eager to start working and taking care and caring for our inmates. You know, our government is committed Answer. to the transformation of our correction system, and we will continue to work with frontline staff, Mr. Speaker, and our correction partner Thank to you. ensure lasting change. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, what these professionals need and deserve is not more platitudes from the government. They need action today. <laughs> Speaker. Speaker, understaffing. Overcrowding, broken and badly planned facilities procured from private sector deals, mothballed nursing stations, and only in the case of the Southwest Detention Center, 17 nurses of a complement of 21 that they need to operate that facility. $50 million to avoid a strike, one report, and nearly daily headlines about jail deaths, violence, and this government has is no closer to addressing the problem. Speaker, I have heard that. Those that are closest to the problem are the closest to the solution. Is this Premier, as committed today, to listen to the frontline staff in our corrections and community safety system, the people that deal with it every day, as she was to throwing $50 million to the wind, hoping that the problem would go away? Be seated, please. Be seated, please. Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Definitely we are listening to our frontline staff. And, and, and Mr. Speaker, are there issues within our system? Yes. I think we, our government is not shying away, and certainly as a minister, I'm not shying away from that. But this is exactly why we are implementing the greatest change to corrections in generations, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Howard Sapers has fully recognized our firm commitment to correctional reform and will continue to work closely with our frontline staff and other partners as this government brings forward real change. Whether it's through enhanced mental health training to all staff or 27 uh, hour, seven days a week nursing, or exploring options to shift the oversight and provision of health care services to the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, are or through new correctional legislation this fall to further Answer. cement and uh, our correctional reform, Mr. Speaker. We are committed to working with our frontline staff. I committed to this, and we will continue. New question. 